Video editing apps on the iPhone have come a really long way in recent years, but there are a few that stand out from the rest. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the top six iPhone video editing apps available and highlight the very best features so that you can start creating videos on your phone that look legit and professional without the complicated video editing software and fancy high-tech computer. If you're new here, my name is Meredith Marsh and this channel is dedicated to helping your side hustle thrive with video. And it really just comes down to taking the right steps in the right direction. So hit that subscribe button now to get started. And just remember all of the apps that I mentioned, I link to down in the description below. Now, if you search the app store for video editing apps for the iPhone, there are numerous options, but I'm just gonna cover the six that I'm most familiar with. And if you use any others, let me know down in the comments, what are the pros and cons? What do you recommend? And then that way I know what to include in a future video. Video editing on an iPhone used to be really limiting, but now we have lots of different options. My all time favorite is LumaFusion. Now LumaFusion is a $20 app, but don't freak out. I have a bunch of free ones coming up for you. But LumaFusion is definitely my favorite. In my opinion, it's the best video editing app for the iPhone and iPad. It's relatively simple for a beginner, but it's extremely powerful for a more advanced video editor. LumaFusion has a multi-track editor, 4K support filters. You can edit horizontal videos, vertical videos, or even square videos. And I have a complete tutorial showing exactly how to use LumaFusion that I just recently posted here with my new iPad. But it's nearly identical to LumaFusion on the iPhone, so I'll make sure to link to that tutorial below. Next up is iMovie, and this is a completely free app created by Apple. It's great for beginners. It's extremely basic but for a quick and simple edit like to trim or split your clips it really gets the job done it's mostly designed for horizontal or landscape videos but if you're wanting to edit a vertical video here's a quick tip you can use both your fingers to rotate the video sideways so now it's full frame but it's also sideways and then when you're done editing save it to your phone then open up the photos app select the sideways video choose edit and then rotate it so it's upright. Just hit save and you're good to go. Another great option is Adobe Premiere Rush. Again, this is for the iPad and iPhone. I actually have a tutorial explaining how to use Rush on your iPhone, and I really like this one. There is a free version, but it's more like a free trial because there's a limit to the number of exports you can do before you have to pay a monthly subscription of $5, unless you're already a Creative Cloud subscriber, in which case, Rush is included. One of my favorite things about Rush is that you can actually record and edit as you go. You can record right within the app. So if you want to do kind of a vlog style Instagram story, for example, you can record those in the app and edit as you go and then export it as one video clip. I think that's really useful for creating social media videos. Of course, you can also create and edit in landscape and square mode as well. You're not just limited to vertical. Now, if all you need to do is a simple trim or maybe crop your video or add a filter, you can actually use the Photos app that's already on your phone. Just select the video that you want to edit, choose edit in the top right, and then tap the timeline to drag the beginning or the end where you want it to start and end. So you're trimming it there. If you hold your finger on the screen, you can get like a little bit more of a precise trim and you can make image adjustments like exposure and contrast or move over to filters to find a filter that might work for you. Then use the crop function to straighten, mirror, or rotate your video. And on the top right, you can select a crop. You just use your fingers to get the placement right. Hit done in the lower right, and you can either save the video over that clip or create a whole new video and keep the original. I almost always select to save a new video just in case it isn't exactly the way that you wanted it to be. You may want to preserve that original. Another possible option for you is KineMaster, which is also a free option with unlimited exports, but those exports will have the KineMaster watermark on them. So it's totally up to you if you want to remove them for $23 a year, or you can pay $4 a month for that subscription. KineMaster is a full featured video editing app, much like LumaFusion. You can choose a landscape portrait or square frame. So it gets points for that. And uh, the interface within the app is in landscape mode on your phone. So uh, there's a menu in the top left and on the right, just choose your media and add it to your timeline. 
trim or split your clip, just select it and you'll get a menu of options to edit that clip. And I haven't really played with this a whole lot, but it's definitely packed with features and you may wanna check this out. InShot is a popular one for social media videos and um, it's got a really nice, simple interface. You select video, then tap the video clips on your phone that you want to edit, tap the check mark at the bottom, and then you'll see them all on your timeline. All of the controls are right above the timeline. So if you want to split your clip, just put the yellow bar where you want to split and choose split um, and then select the pre-cut scissors icon there. And you have some options to either trim the ends, cut out a part in the middle or split the clip somewhere in the middle there. Um, there are other features in here too, like speed filters and even the ability to add stickers and that's so much fun. Now I have loads of tips for how to edit your videos like a pro, even if you're a total beginner, but I put my top 10 tips inside my edit like a pro cheat sheet, which I'll link to over here and down in the description below. And I've also queued up my bingeable video editing for beginners playlist over here for you.